All right, we're talking about Creatures by Brian Balmages. We're looking at the base part, obviously. Uh, and uh, I want to show you a couple things. So you have some repeating um, riffs or licks, if you want to call them, in this piece. The first one in measure two is open, rest, open, G, A, B, open, E, right? So the best way to do it is we're going to take our hand. We're going to go from first position back to half position. So we're moving our hand back a half step, lower on the base, lower and higher, right, on the base. So a lower half position. So now our second finger falls on our first finger tape. Our first finger falls halfway between the, the nut and my first finger tape. And my fourth finger now falls where my second finger used to, to land, okay? And by doing so, that's going to set us up for some success and making this a little bit easier. So if I start, E, rest, E, rest, E, rest in slow motion, open, 4G, open A, 2 on the B. Open 4, open 2, open. Okay, so it works out really nicely. Then this sets us up for measure 4. Measure 4, open, rest. 1, 2, 4, open, open. Again, 1, 2, 4, open, open. Right, so that's A sharp, B, G, A natural, open A, and then open E. So if I play it together, Rest, rest, and open four, O, oh, two, O. Oh. E, rest, E, rest. Then one, two, four, open, open. And I get to use that a whole bunch of times. Let me put the bow on it, right? So we got a little string crossing in there. It's not too bad. Rest, 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 open four, open two, open, rest. Half position. Now we have. One, two, four, open, open. Again, one, two, four, open A, open E. The first one, measure two, rest, open four, open two, open. Okay, and the next one, measure four. Then we have one, two, four, open, open. Okay, so we're going to use it a whole bunch of times. We get to measure 14, and you have C, B, B, G, F natural, F natural, right? I can stay in half position with that too. So I'm doing C, B, B is four, two, two. And then I cross over G, F natural, and then E. So if I stay in half position, it's gonna make my life a lot easier. I could do uh, most of this piece in half position, okay? Scrolling ahead to measure 17, we have B and open E, and then 4 is C, up, and then E, D sharp is the first finger in half position, you can go to G, G, F natural, F sharp, now we have to shift, first time in first position, right, that is an F sharp in measure 20, so G, F sharp, 2, and then sometime during these open E's, shift back down to half position so we can get the... All right? So we're, we're going to spend most of our time, but watch measure 20. It's an F sharp in there. And then, uh, let's see, going on 25, not too bad. Um, I would do 25 in, in first position. Two, 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 two. And then G, F sharp, E. All right? G, F sharp, E. And then uh, watch measure 33, you got A sharp, B, G. So somewhere in there, you can shift back to half position. You're spending the rest of the piece, uh, looks like, uh, in half position. Check out, uh, check out measure 44. Measure 44 is the next um, big thing in here, right? Rest. Uh, so then we go. Make sure we're playing F sharp. So we can spend all a lot of that time, and then the ending we have open one half position. Okay, I hope that helps you. Thank you for tuning in. For resources and more information, visit orchestrateacher.net.